Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. It's the year, your friendly neighborhood tattoo VO. And want to spread some more positivity this week, because that's kind of how I roll. It's time to ink positive. Tips and insight from the tattoo VO, D. Alvis, to help you grow your business each and every week. This is one of those subjects that comes up quite a lot, and I think a lot of folks who've been banging around VO for a while already understand that it's not so much about your equipment. It's about your performance, uh, at least to an extent, right? Of course, now we're all talking about the home studios that need to be tip-top shape in order to, uh, you know, get these big bookings that are out there, along with all the transitions that have been made due to the COVID situation. But... I wanted to kind of send out some encouragement to some of the folks who are still uh, a bit newer to this and drive themselves crazy thinking that, you know, if I were just able to afford, uh, you know, say like one of these guys, um, that's the Sennheiser MKH 416. It's magical. It's amazing. It'll do the work for you. No, it, it really won't. Uh, you know, if I'm not using it correctly, uh, if my interface isn't right, uh, if my mix levels aren't right, uh, that thing's not going to help me sound any better. Um, if I just suck at my performance, uh, that mic's not changing a thing. So, you know, a thousand bucks and change uh, down the drain. To prove something to you, I thought I'd show you. What I dug up, uh, going through some old stuff, I forgot I even still had this bad boy. This is a Florian uh, BM-800. I mean, there's so many companies that make the BM-800. You know, this is like that generic mic you'll find on Amazon, places like that, all right? In beautiful metallic blue, with faux chrome. Mmm. Even smells like peaches. Uh, I believe I got this for $30. Now I'm pretty sure you can get one of these along with like a uh, pop filter, a mic arm, uh, maybe even $10 worth of credits to iTunes or something for the same price because these are literally like a dime a dozen off the assembly line. However, it did the job. I booked thousands of dollars worth of work with this. Yes, thousands. So yeah, the... Moral of the story is it's not about the equipment. It's about how you use it. You know, it's not the size of the boat, but the moat. Whoa! Whole different video. Anyway, keep shining, my friends. Till next bad time. Decrest out.